Can I walk to the beach from anywhere? How do I make reservations for those gorgeous islands out there? If I go swimming at the beach, will a shark eat me? What sports team plays out in that big dome? And of course, which way is Disneyland? Now these are questions that I do get from clients all the time looking to relocate to California. And these questions were geared more specifically towards Long Beach. What's up everybody? My name's Steve Arthur, realtor here with Nationwide Real Estate Executive here in fabulous Long Beach. And today, I wanna to talk to you about the realities of living in California, and I wanna mix in some Long Beach there also. California is so full of interesting creatures, different things, and weather events. From the deadly termite, it can be deadly to your home, to Mickey Mouse, to mountains, beaches, and deserts, and golf courses in all of the locations in some of the prettiest ever. Earthquakes to hail, well, we had hail last week for about this big. Haven't seen it in about 15 years before that. We do have state income tax, snowbirds, fresh fruit and vegetables. Because of our large agricultural communities, you can always find stands throughout the city to get fresh strawberries, fresh fruit and everywhere. And they're on the free rate off ramps to also. And of course, sand. Don't live in California, it is very easy to create a vision as to what it is like to live here. But what is it actually like? And I get asked all sorts of questions from people coming to California looking for a home about what it is actually like. So today I thought it would just be a really good idea to show you what it is actually really like to live here in California and in Long Beach. Well, I am born and raised right here in Long Beach and the name of my channel is Long Beach Living. So of course I will be completely biased, but I am also honest as possible with my clients and whoever bothers to watch this video about what it is actually like to live in California because it's not for everybody. Hell no. So I want people to have a realistic expectation as to what life will be when they relocate here. And like I said earlier, I was born and raised right here in Long Beach. As a matter of fact, I live nine tenths of a mile from the home that I was born in. My mom and dad still live there. They're 88 and 89 years old. And that makes it really convenient because I can go by there and check on them all the time. The other day, uh, I, went I went over there to go check on him to see what's going on. My dad's up on a ladder. He's trimming out this door that my brother and I uh, hung for him out in the garage. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing up on the ladder? Knock it off. Get down. You're at 89 years old. Down. So with my 53 years of experience here in Long Beach, I should be able to answer those questions about is California the right state for you to live in or is Long Beach the right city for you to live in? So is Long Beach and California more expensive? Well, yeah, Long Beach and California is more expensive than the national average. Now I did do a complete video right here all about Long Beach, the cost of living, where I talk about housing, whether you're gonna buy or rent. I talk about groceries, utilities, healthcare, transportation, nightlife, and all of that stuff. But as a whole, Long Beach and California is more expensive than the national average. What type of creatures do I have to look out for the insect that you have to watch out for? So it will not just destroy your home. It is the brutal, wood-eating, never-stopping termite. Don't worry, it's not that bad. It will not destroy your home. As a matter of fact, when you buy a home in California, you have to get a termite inspection report to make sure that the house is not infested with termites. And what I always recommend to my client, when you buy a home, you do a termite protection policy with a termite company. Basically, they're gonna come out one time, they're gonna do the whole sweep, they'll do everything, and then they just, like an insurance plan, they'll come out every year and they just check, make sure that you're all good. They'll do a local treatment for you. And it's just like I said, a big insurance policy so nothing gets out of hand. If looked after and taken care of, you have no problems whatsoever. It's when you find a 50 or a 60 year old home that has never been treated, that has never been termited, has never been inspected. You're gonna have some major problems there. 
Now, in certain parts of California, you're going to have foxes, coyotes, deer, uh, snakes, California brown bear. I've chased a couple of those away from my ice chest at nighttime. Uh, pro tip, when you're camping up in Northern California, put your ice chest away. The bears know what they are, and they're hungry. They will take it. Foxes, coyotes. I live right by Skylinks Golf Course, and just the other morning I was getting up to go to an appointment, and two coyotes went running right across my front yard, and I was opening up the front door. Hi hey guys, but like I said, they were here first. Yes, California has a lot of sharks out there in the ocean, and there is so many different varieties of species of sharks out there, and. They're just following the fish because they're hungry and when an attack happens, it's just because somebody got in their way and they were just hungry. They're not interested in us whatsoever. None of these animals are. So how do we make reservations for those beautiful, gorgeous islands? They are so pretty at night. I just want to go out there and look at the city. Now, I hate to tell you this, but those aren't exo exotic islands. Those are working oil islands and they're hot, they're dirty, they're noisy, they are just crappy in there. Trust me, I worked out there for a New York minute, prices of oil dropped and I got laid off. Thank God, I hated that job. You just walk out of the doghouse out there and you are just shitty, you're already covered in oil. I don't care, you haven't touched anything yet. You're just already covered in oil. But it's good money, long hours, hard work, and when they called me back after the layoff, I had already moved on, thank God. And like I said, since it's oil islands, there's a lot of heavy equipment out there. You've got trucks, forklifts, barges, bundles of, these things can get very, very heavy, and they're gonna make a lot of noise. And unfortunately, the homes that are affected by this noise level are the homes right there on Ocean Boulevard. And these homes are absolutely gorgeous. So you have the views, you have the beautiful homes, but you do get a little bit of noise here and there. Well, let me tell you how this one usually plays out. Location, location, location. And the house always wins. It doesn't matter because the noise is not that big. People push that aside because those homes are in demand. Now, if you're out of state and you're concerned about any incidents or anything like that happening out there, as far as I know, in the 53 years that I have been here in Long Beach, I have not heard of any incidents. They do take every precaution. When it rains, all that rainwater has to be contained within the island to avoid any oil spillage into the ocean. What's it like to live so close to the beach? And the answer I always give people, Sandy. Thanks, John. Now, in my younger days, my buddies and I, we'd go down to the beach three, five times a week. Hopefully you had an older brother that could drive or a friend's older brother that can drive. You know, we're 10, 11, 12 years old, so. So if you got a ride, you can drive, you're going surfing that day. If you didn't get a ride, you're riding your bicycle and you're going boogie boarding that day. But we would go down there to check out the waves, check out the girls, the bikinis. Who, who am I kidding? We're 10, 11. This was 40 years ago, the bikinis weren't that good. Killing me, Smalls. But nowadays, it's the comfort of knowing that the ocean is there. It's a great scenic drive. My brother lives down uh, in Huntington Beach, so whenever I go see him, it's just it's a nice relaxing drive to get the ocean right there. But I do also understand that people do move here specifically for the beaches. They are really beautiful. And there's, and let me tell you, there's really nothing like watching a great sunset with the person you love got your feet in the sand, maybe a glass of wine if that's what you choose, and just watching a beautiful sunset. And we do have some pretty spectacular ones here. If you're not in retirement mode, chances are you might not wanna live so close to the beach if you're doing the family thing. And that would depend on where you would be working and how far of a commute you would like. Now, there are a lot of professional opportunities in downtown Long Beach, but the majority of these opportunities will be in downtown LA. But no worries, living in Long Beach, you will always be close to the water. So you have weekend trips, and over time, you're gonna discover what beaches are your favorite because you don't wanna go to the beaches where all the tourists go. If you are relocating here for retirement life, <laughs> Come on down. Bring your wife, bring your kids, bring your daughters. I don't care. What in the hell are you doing? I'm trying to make TV, man.
We've got plenty of beachfront condos waiting just for you. But you know what? It can be yours today, as long as you call the number on your screen. So when you're looking for a condo, just make sure you hire a realtor that knows the beaches well, so you can find the perfect location. What about the weather? Well, weather is a major concern for new residents and current residents, as it should be. Because here in Long Beach, it is absolutely critical that you know exactly what type of sunscreen to use. And, and that is always, always on your mind. But it is California and we have it all. So if you want snow in the wintertime, you got it. Deserts, hikes, whatever. We have you covered. Basically, just like any other city, there are pros and cons to living in California and there are pros and cons to living in Long Beach. It is truly as beautiful as you see it in pictures and on TV. And California is experiencing right now that people who did come back here back in the day to become a movie star or a rock star, well, they ended up on other careers. And now it's time for retirement. Time to head back home to go see your old friends, your old cousins, your old family back home and take a buttload of money with the equity of cash from your home with you. So Long Beach is doing a great job of attracting new residents with great job opportunities, fun places to spend your free time, improvements throughout the city, and a lifestyle that allows you to be outdoors the majority of the year. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're thinking about visiting here and maybe staying, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website for your free gift. And I will personally reach out to you so we can talk about your real estate goals here in Long Beach or California. Until next time, you take care.